Hello and welcome back to the Daily Island TV Sports Studio for this week's edition of the pregame show. Joined by Cody Goodwin, I'm Chelsea Brown. Chelsea, so much to get to on the program tonight with our weekly football preview on in just a bit. We'll also take a look at one wide receiver's journey from Canada to being a threat in the Iowa offense, as well as an exclusive interview with senior captain Louis Tringapassat. That's right, Cody. And you mentioned the weekly football preview, and that's where we'll start. Take a look. Iowa opens up their second game at Kinnick Stadium against the Ball State Cardinals. Ball State, currently 1-0, opened the season with a 30-10 home victory over Colgate. The Cardinals finished the 2013 season at 10-3, including a 7-1 record in the Mid-American Conference. Now the last time Iowa saw Ball State was in 2005, where they demolished the Cardinals 56-0 at Kinnick. The quarterback during this game happened to be Joey Lynch, who is now the current offensive coordinator and quarterback coach for the Cardinals. There will definitely be some old wounds opened up during this game with Iowa leading the series 2-0 and outscoring Ball State 101-0 both times at Kinnick. This matchup this week will be the third time the Hawkeyes face the Cardinals, but the defense will have to attack on the rushing game to stop two Cardinals who averaged over 100 rushing yards apiece in the Colgate win. They include Horatio Banks and touchdown machine Jawan Edwards, who ranked 19th in the nation in rushing touchdowns in 2013. Iowa defense allowed just 25 rushing yards against Northern Iowa, which is the fewest rushing yards allowed by an Iowa defense since holding Minnesota to 7 yards in 2008. Even with quarterback Ozzie Mann with only one game start under his belt with the rushing offense of Banks and Edwards by his side and the Cardinal offense who scored a school record of 501 points last season will have to be stopped. Chelsea Brown, Daily Island TV Sports. Definitely a matchup that most Iowa fans are pretty optimistic about judging on past results. But let's go back to the 2013 season real quick when then-sophomore Tavon Smith was a targetable, targetable receiver and we caught a glimpse of his potential in a 55-yard scoring reception against Michigan last year. But it's now in 2014 that Smith has a chance to establish himself as the go-to guy that almost went unnoticed. Daily Iowan football reporter Jalen Socek has a story. It all started in Ontario, Canada four years ago. Tavon Smith, then a high school junior, had big football dreams. But he wasn't getting the attention he needed. I mean, I wasn't really getting recruited as much uh, on Canada, and I guess our talent wasn't, wasn't as, uh, as good as uh, American talent. Determined to make his dream of playing college football a reality, he decided to make a change. A change that involved a new school in a new country 863 miles away from his home of Ontario. So I just wanted, wanted the opportunity, so I just did whatever I could to get out here and uh, make a name for myself. It was there that he finally got the recognition he had been working so hard for. And, um, I mean, coming out of Canada, I only, I only was looked at by Syracuse and um, a couple other schools. So. Uh, I mean, once I went out to Connecticut and I got some film together, I mean, I was one of the schools that offered me, so. Anyway, long story short, you know, he came from Canada to there and somehow we got his tape and liked it and uh, well, I'm glad. He, he's a tremendous young guy and he's really improved and like I said, we, we thought we saw something in 2012. That's why we pulled the red shirt off him and just wanted to get him going and, um, you know, hopefully it ends up being a great story. Adjusting to American football was something that came easy for the receiver. Just, just the field was a little bit smaller. Um, but other than that, I mean, com I, I mean, the competition was, was just as good. I just had to come out here and just do what I can do. Smith showed signs of what he can do when the Hawks open their season with a 31-23 victory over UNI on August 30th. The Canadian native grabbed three balls for 17 yards, counted for a touchdown while leading the team in rushing with this 35-yard rush. This is Jalen Sojek, Daily Island TV Sports. Great job as always, Jalen, and what a rush that was. Tavon Smith wasn't the only Hawkeye to have a great game against you and I, and now we'll toss it over to Whitney Blakemore, who caught up with another player who had his career, his best career showing. Whitney? Hey guys, this is Whitney Blakemore here with defensive tackle Lewis Trinka Passat. And um, Lewis, just how does it feel starting off the season, you know, with last week having your career best wins with 10 tackles, 1.5 sacks, and three tackles for a loss? I mean, it's it's a good start. It's a good step in the right direction, and uh, we just you know just keep improving now. Just it's kind of a stepping stone, and I just gotta try to have better games than that now. Iowa's defense really played a great game last weekend against you and I, only allowing them having 25 rushing yards. So, what can you still improve on, though? I mean, just 
just technique as far as defensive line and uh, just uh, assignments doing our jobs. I know we had some miscommunications, but uh, and just not giving up big plays in the passing game. And finally, you know, the last two meetings with Ball State, you've held them and had them scoreless, but they aren't the same team as 2010. So what is the defense going to have to do to get the win? Yeah, I think uh, coming off a year ago, they won about 10 games. Uh, you know, they're a good running team. They're, their backs are very explosive. Uh, their O line's athletic. Um, they're good blocking, so they're good at blocking. So uh, we just got to be fundamentally sound, make sure we, we play our best game in the rush defense and pass defense. And if they don't score again, we should have a good chance to win. All right, well, thank you so much. And guys, back to you at the studio. Well, that's all the time we have for tonight, but be sure to tune in for our pregame show every Thursday night. But before you go, this Saturday, they'll be celebrating the 125th anniversary of Iowa football. That's right, Cody, and it's also the 75th anniversary of the 1939 Ironman squad where more than 150 Hawkeyes are expected to attend the game this weekend. And don't forget to pick up a print copy of pregame in tomorrow's edition of the Daily Iowa. And you can get all your updates during Saturday's game at our blog at dailyiowansports.com. We'll be bringing you live updates from Kinnick Stadium. Greta and Nick, back to you guys at the desk.